How you doing? This is Sam Tolly. You know, I've been I've been thinking a lot about school shootings lately. Uh, you know, the way our news has moved through the internet and TV and radio and you know at cyber speed these days we hear all this stuff. We hear it quickly, we hear it all the time. And it seems like there's this great uh, problem with school shootings, with kids coming to guns and killing up other kids and things like that. And I always go back to when I was a kid. I think about the times I lived in. Like today, uh, every time there's a school shooting, politicians want to take our guns away from us, guns away from law-abiding citizens. I mean, everybody, I think, realize that criminals do not buy their guns legally and they know that when they get their guns uh, illegally, that it's against the law. So they don't follow the law. They don't care anything about that. But it's the law-abiding citizen who's the one that's always hearing about, let's get these guns away from them. Guns are evil. Guns kill people. Electricity kills people in the electric chair. Or if you stick your finger in one of these light sockets and your foot in, in water, but if you use it properly, it doesn't kill people, and neither does guns. But getting back to the topic, the kids. When I was a kid, we used to play with toy guns all the time. We had toy guns. Matter of fact, they almost looked like real, you know, cowboy and Indian guns. We used to have these caps in them, and we'd shoot, and smoke would come out the back. And even in those days, by and large, police didn't mistake a child with a gun, thinking it was some child was trying to kill him. And by and large, in those days, children with guns weren't trying to kill police. But there's a lot of things that are different then and now. For example, we had a moral foundation in our society for the most part. It was still a biblically based society. Now, everybody wasn't a Christian, but the morality of the Bible stood out. I mean, most movies you saw had the good guy, had the bad guy. And generally, the good guy won in the end and the bad guy went to jail or was killed or whatever. Um, things that happened in, in books were good and evil. It, it, it was simple. Um, when children had fights, conflicts. I mean, in my elementary school, there were all kinds of conflicts. There were no bully, anti-bullying laws in those days either. You learn how to suck it up. You learn how to take it. You learn how to take somebody talking about you. You talk back about them. You didn't go to the teacher. This was just a peer thing. This was actually a growing mechanism. Likewise, we had playgrounds with steel and sand. You know, we'd have steel jungle gyms and merry-go-rounds and swings, and we'd jump into the sand. And sometimes we'd miss it. And it was not unusual to have scraped knees and skinned arms and stuff like that. It just happened. You were a kid. And we weren't worried about people putting razor blades in sand either in those days. Nowadays, they have plastic jungle gyms, plastic playgrounds with rubber mats. And I even heard that they got rid of dodgeball. Because you used to play dodgeball, and for those who don't know what dodgeball is, you have a circle and all the kids line up in a circle and a bunch of kids get in the middle of the circle and somebody has a ball outside the circle. So the idea is if you hit somebody in the circle, then they got to get out. So you're dodging that ball. You're trying to get around it, you know, and that was a way of learning agility and helping you move and everything. What I heard now, they got rid of that stuff. Just like, for example, I remember when President Trump was a left elected, to my astonishment, many of these colleges were passing out hot chocolate and coloring books. I mean, talking about coloring books for grown kids. Well, excuse me, if you're over 18, you're an adult. Coloring books for adults and hot chocolates and teddy bears, trying to comfort these folks. And then people get mad because you call them snowflakes. I mean, this is ridiculous, but it's not surprising. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten my topic. Because my oldest child, who is now in his 30s, I remember when he was in T-ball. 
um, they said that, well, we're not going to keep score because that was the only year that I was coaching my children or one of my children and I coached this t-ball team. And they said that we're not keeping score because in this time, everybody wins. Well, I told the kids, no, everybody doesn't win. You know, we either win or we lose. And I told the kids on the team where we stood because children have to learn how to accept losing just like winning. Because if they would have learned that, then you wouldn't have been giving out chocolate milk and, and teddy bears and coloring books to grown folks that can't handle losing an election. So anyway, getting back to the school, when kids, when I was in elementary, they had a beef, they would take it down to what we called Boot Hill. And they'd fight it out. But win or lose, when the fight was over, it was over. The next day, everybody went to school, and, and the one that won or the one that lost, everybody had respect, they went on about their business. No one went home and got a gun and shot somebody or shot up the school. They never thought about stuff like that. Why? Because there was a moral foundation. That society, that time, everybody understood there is right and there is wrong. Even in those days, they even had uh, gun classes in schools where kids owned their own guns and they had a gun class or whatever. I know that's the shock of a lot of you people, but it's true. And it was, un it was not uncommon for most folks to have guns in their houses because guns are tools. And you only use a tool when you need it. Just like, I think just about everyone has a plunger in their house, but no one wants to use a plunger. But when you need that joker, you want the plunger. And that's the same thing with the gun. So, the school shootings that we have now is also, I think, problematic or endemic in our epidemic in our society because now we have children that have grown up without playing in dirt. I mean, we used to go outside and play until the sun went down, until the street lights came on, then we had to come in the house. Even if we didn't have a game, we invented games. But these kids exercise their thumbs. They play these digital games and they shoot up a gazillion people a day. Well, if you can shoot up a gazillion people a day and, you know, you start getting desensitized. If you have a society also where the schools teach you that you are a product of evolution. You were just here by chance. Uh, there is no good and bad because you're an accident. I mean, how can you determine what's good and bad if you're an accident? You know, people are nowadays, they'll sit around and talk about how Hitler was evil, how him wanting to destroy the Jews was evil. Well, in that society, the way that society got corrupted, they start talking about Jews were subhuman, that they were not human, and that people believed it. And many of us say, well, how could they believe stuff like that? That's crazy. Well, we got folks going around the day that says a guy that says he's a woman is a woman because he says so. And that's not crazy. You got people that are injecting small children with hormones to change uh, their appearance. You're going to cut off a boy's testicles and, and make him into a girl uh, physi uh, visually because physiologically he's still a boy. And you say, that's not crazy. So why should we be surprised that kids are shooting up each other? And then on top of that, you got the so-called celebrities that they'll run around and say that they're anti-gun activists, that they hate guns, but they'll make a movie where they shoot 29, 30 people in the same, in a movie, but then tell you that you shouldn't have guns while they have armed guards defending them all the time. The mixed signals that we send our society. It's no wonder why our kids are screwed up. It's no wonder why folks are shooting each other and little kids think that it's okay. Because we have told them that they don't matter anyway, that they're just an accident. And until this country understands that there's consequences to denying the reality of morality, and you can only have morality if there's an object of that morality that set it in place, and that's God. Until we understand that, this stuff is going to continue. And you can keep on having people telling you that guns are evil and that we need to get rid of guns. But the one thing about the America, the United States, with 300 million people, 
and we got like 300 million privately owned legal guns besides the millions of illegal guns? You ain't taking our guns away. That ain't gonna happen. So the best thing to do is to go back to God. Start this thing all over again. That's what I think about school shootings. I'm Sam Tolley, and I'm out.